Um, I've been in Virginia this winter, uh, pretty much riding this bike right here, my six days bike, uh, 200, just riding in the woods. It's been kind of weird. I haven't had my, I just got my moto bike last week um, to finally start riding some moto again. Um, I've just been riding in the woods and having fun, kind of. I've started making the transition a couple years ago um, to off-road once I rode for KTM. Obviously, they're the biggest off-road company and um, just kind of opened my eyes to, you know, motocrossers. We just live in this such a small little world that motocross is everything. And um, it's kind of cool to come out and realize, you know, you can have fun riding your motorcycle no matter what you're doing. If it's moto, if it's in the woods, um, if, even if it's in the desert, though that's a little bit scary. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been doing, just riding and hitting trees. And uh, maybe talk about a little bit just the transition, the difference in bikes. You're obvious, I mean, you're on a two-stroke here, but you race four-stroke in the, you know, the women's motocross. Just talk about maybe the setup and the difference going back to the two-stroke. Yeah. Um, when I did six days last year, I was really just wondering what bike I should ride. Um, just going back and forth. Um, the 250, sorry. Is that bugging you? Because no, it's no, bugging no. me. Ha! Well, it's bugging me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, last year when I was thinking about doing six days, I just couldn't decide what bike to ride. The 250, uh, it's so much heavier. And for a full six days of riding, it just wears you out. You know, when I ride a 250F in the woods after three hours, I'm completely beat. Last year, I did the opening round on a 125 that I borrowed from a friend. And I felt completely fresh after the race because uh, it's just so light. Um, so I decided to go with the 200 because it's got a lot more power than that 125. But it's still really light and you can flick it around. And um, I really like it in the woods. It's definitely a lot different you know I've been on four strokes for so long now in moto and I don't like to ride it on the motocross track at all um, I'm not <laughs> you know I'm just kind of stuck in the middle I love my four stroke for the moto track and I love my two stroke for the woods uh, especially just tight woods you can go in and out of trees a lot easier it's a lot lighter um, a lot for a smaller person is I think it's a lot better to to ride something a little lighter in the woods so for this 2013 season it's going to be very very busy um, I'm doing the full enduro series I've got a sponsor cycle nano that's sponsoring me to do that whole series um, I'm also go to, going to be doing enduro cross um, and then I'm here at the opening round of the GNTC um, thinking about doing the second one if I could find some sponsors to do the rest I would love to do them um, and then gonna try and hit the WMX rounds and then maybe maybe do some trials events uh, with my boyfriend so it's pretty much my whole schedule through November it's every weekend so it'll be busy yeah off-road prep is a lot different I've never come into it the off-road like an off-road season focusing on off-road before so this is all new to me every other year I would just go to a race and I would do it and I would be when I'm riding I'm focusing on like the 15 minute sprint races of a WMX so now I'm riding for a lot longer I'm spending way more time on my motorcycle than I ever have because I just you know you go trail riding and you go out for hours um, so it's it's a lot different um, so I definitely have to get my endurance up. My endurance has never been bad. It's always been um, really strong, but it's just a lot different. I don't want to be able to, like, I don't want to have to pace myself. Um, as a moto person, we want to go out and be on it the whole entire time. And I love that aggression, and I think that it helps me in the off-road world. But on the same time, if you get too tired, then you're going to crash if you're worn out. So you... I just want to get my endurance up so that I can push that whole two hours of a GNCC or whatever and just be strong the entire time. I I started riding with my Liat brace when they first came out and I just feel naked without it whether it's moto uh, or in the woods I just always want to have it on I I'm always wearing it and it is you know moto's dangerous off-road's dangerous it's you know the dangers before you go out there and you do it anyways because you love it but you just prepare yourself for when you crash because it's not if it's when so you just take the precautions and you wear the equipment and then you can go out uh, you go out with feeling a little bit more comfortable knowing that you're wearing everything that you can um, I would say that 
This year has been really hard on uh, women racers. Um, with us getting cut back to only three races for the WMX, um, there's a lot of younger girls that they're going to go to the nationals and they won't see the women now. Um, so maybe they won't be buying a bike because they just don't even know. Um, or the girls that want to be somebody, might they might lose all their inspiration because now what are they going to do? But I just want to show them that, hey, there's GNCC, there's Enduro, there's Enduro Cross. Yeah, it's not what we grew up doing if we're strictly moto, but there are so many other forms of motorcycle racing out there that we can do. Um, and, you know, we're widely accepted in this off-road world. So much respect here. So if if you can't do moto, don't give up your dreams of racing. Um, come over here and do some off-road and just continue to do with what you love. Because, you know, if you can't ride moto, you can always do off-road. You can do whatever you want as long as you're on your motorcycle, you're having fun.